Hey, Composing Gloves here, and today I'm going to talk about MIDI. What is it? I, I have to include this. This is a thing. So, MIDI is performance instructions that you generate. It is not sound. So, I have a MIDI keyboard here. Uh, maybe I'll lift it up and show you. Here, let's do this. Why not? All right, so here it is. Whoops, that was loud. So, this is my MIDI keyboard. It's an Alesis V25. It's plugged in right now, so I can't really pull it up all the way. But it, I picked it specifically because it gave me particular MIDI options that I wanted. So part of these MIDI options uh, included some knobs. I have some knobs that I can assign. And a lot of things when people buy a MIDI controller, maybe they don't know what MIDI is. MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. Um, and there's a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm not going to go crazy into like what MIDI is and the bit rates and transfers and all that kind of stuff. Though it is interesting stuff. And I, I mean like uh, it's useful to a degree. It's just a little bit beyond the scope of this. That'd be like a whole separate, maybe a whole separate MIDI thing. So it's got some buttons, some knobs. It's got two wheels, eight pads, and then 25 keys. And this is a, a suit. That's a lot of stuff to fit on a little board. And it's under a hundred bucks. It was like 88 at Guitar Center where I got it. So uh, I, now what is, what is the great deal about this? Well, MIDI can be used to send control instructions to pretty much anything that can take MIDI input. So, uh, everything in FL runs on MIDI. So if we were to open up like, um, oh, let's come over here. Here I have a number of instruments. Let's mess with massive. So here's massive. Just close some of these. This is massive. And I'm going to configure this back to the default. So. We're going to talk about MIDI. So here's Massive. Got it going. And what you do is, so you see I'm playing my keyboard. It is sending MIDI information here. If I go to Options, MIDI setting, you can see that I have turned on my V25. I've enabled it. And now whenever I select something with uh, like this, you can see what I've selected with this green box. NFL may be different in your DAW. Actually, in a lot of other DAWs, it is substantially different. I'm just showing this in FL. Uh, but in Pro Tools, you actually have to enable MIDI Record. So if you're using some other DAW, you have to hit Enable Record in order to for your MIDI to get through. And they have a variety of routing options that I honestly think are more sophisticated in some ways. But here's Massive. And uh, we're sending data to it. Now, if I come into the FL Studio's piano roll, this is Massive's piano roll. So as I put down notes, I'm putting down instructions on how to... Um, interact with it. Now MIDI, uh, now there's a variety of other cool things that if you own MIDI controllers, uh, they may be able to do things you've never been aware of. There's a MIDI spec that if you know how to manipulate, like I turn my Casio keyboard, I have a big Casio keyboard right here. And I happen to figure out what a bunch of these buttons on the top do because it's, it obeys the MIDI spec, but it doesn't say that those buttons do those things. So you learn some like sort of black magic features when you study the MIDI spec. Just look up like MIDI spec. It's still on spec 1.0. It's like never been updated because it's so complete. It can be used to send system changes. It can be used to send, well, like there's like the notes, the pitch bends, the pitch, the no on, no off. The reason why your notes turn on and off when you hit keys is because it's sending MIDI message. Like if I hit it, you'll see this it's saying, oh, I'm getting a no off message. No on message and it can tell what velocity you want it at and you can do all these things you just need to be aware of what MIDI is as a thing I recommend you do some more reading on it um, you probably already use it it's pretty intuitive to use especially if you're using FL a little less intuitive in other DAWs but it is it's coming up to par in a lot of other DAWs um, the enabling thing is totally different in FL than it is in like every DAW I've touched thus far so that's that. If you have any questions, I know this is just a general overview. It's really not that much to say without getting into specifics. So I just want I just wanted to mention that that is what that is. It allows you to send controller messages so you can control your various parameters. If you have any questions, let me know. Subscribe and have a blessed day. Oh, 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 oh,